So hello and welcome friends to our channel Intromech and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. Now material is one of the most important part, uh, most important thing while you design something because all the uh, different parameters are dependent on the material property. If you choose a wrong material, the product might fail. So the selection of the proper material according to your requirement is very important. So is there any tool that will give you the properties, also the suppliers, then uh, gives the comparison of the materials, then yes, we have a tool called Matte Match and let's see how it looks. So just type Matte Match here and you could see the Matte Match find materials and suppliers here. So just click on that and the window will open. Now here you could see uh, the home page of the math match and what you have to do first is you have to register yourself now you could see here i have already registered and i have logged in so you could see my name so there is a simple process just register yourself and then log in into the account now see what it is it's like make better material decisions so yes it helps to make the decisions we have options like search by property where if you have some specific requirements we can go by this then we have search by category if our material is in certain category then we can go by this option and then we have search by supplier so this option is also available here we can go with the help of say a specific supplier so let's see first the option is like search by property what it offers now as soon as you click on the search by property menu you could see here there are different material properties that is showing so they have segregated the properties like acoustic chemical dimension electrical magnetic so there are n number of different options available here and if you want some specific properties say in mechanical if there are again n number of properties and your application say need some kind of specific property say grip strength shear strength or elongation bending so you want some limitation for that then you can select that property uh, from this list so let's select some uh, property here uh, let's say we can go with some strength uh, the basic we all know the tensile strength we can select so let's select tensile strength now save it right now here you could uh, see the categories all material categories have been selected so if you want uh, say specific metals so just deselect it and select only the category that you want that is metal now in metal as soon as you select it you could see there are 23,000 options available under that then you can have filters you can uh, limit your material property like tensile strength I want up to 1000 megapascal only so I will have some filters now here you could see the value has dropped down to like 15,000 options have reduced then we can add some another property also say if I want to check two different uh, properties uh, parallelly and then I want to select the material then you can go for that let's say thermal properties and I want to limit the coefficient of thermal expansion so let's select that and save it then here you could see now the coefficient of thermal expansion option is also available and the uh, uh, I want to limit it so I will limit it then you will see the options now has uh, have reduced to 14,000 right so this is how you can apply the different uh, specification then we have metal filters <clears throat> we can add the shapes now they have bars billets then blocks castings now whenever you buy some material these uh, materials are available in certain forms in the market so that's why this option is also important and whether the uh, material is available in say bar, rod, anything or spec anything specific you want. Then the options which are not available they are also uh, shown. So let's select some option here and uh, uh, let's see what we get. Uh, so these options are not available you could see drawn tube or extruded bar. So we will go with some uh, say square bar. So as soon as you have a square bar now you could see the options now again reduced to uh, only seven options are available with this combination. So we can add some more options. Uh, we have a hexagonal rod. Uh, then uh, we can go with uh, say some 
uh, flat and disk so now see what options we have uh, with these we have so many options so let's reduce disk and flat and only keep hexagonal and square tube options so with these uh, we have now around like square and uh, then system requirements we have metric and imperial options are also available we can go with anything we want right now with these filters uh, let's see uh, the supplier option is also available we will include materials without suppliers now this option should be on so that uh, you know we don't have to bother about the suppliers and then uh, let's see what we have got we have application uh, window also so according to the application also we can go for that let's say my machine is like precision so i want uh, to go with the precision uh, mechanics then also automotive so this again reduces your scope and try to give you more and more accurate options now here you could see now only six uh, options are there with all these filters like my tensile strength limited to 1000 my coefficient of thermal expansion is limited to the my range then uh, the material is available in say square tube and hexagonal rod now it is it can be specifically used in automotive and precision industries so with these filters i have got these options so look how amazing it is you don't have to search a lot of things on the internet you just have to put all the things what you want into this site and you will get the options right now let's uh, see some of uh, uh, let's see one example that how it shows the material properties and what properties so let's take ferritic stainless steel so just uh, click on the material and let's see how it goes now here you could see uh, all the things and the description is given the related standards are given then uh, it shows the a property chart against uh, your material that where our material stands uh, in case of all the other material categories so this graph is also uh, very useful and uh, it gives us you could see now different colors have different section now this is for the composite material section uh, this is density versus elastic modulus graph right then we have thermo set uh, a polymer material this is the graph uh, so all categories are available and that the black dot indicates our material so we have selected metal so if we get metal option then again we have uh, like non uh, like different types of materials and at that point our material stands so we can just have a huge uh, we can just compare that whether the material stands right so this graph is also uh, helpful and uh, you could see what are the other different col color materials it is showing so here are all the properties like density then mechanical properties thermal properties then we have electrical properties magnetic chemical technical properties now this is one of the very important uh, thing as far as our mechanical design is concerned so uh, we can see that application areas where, where in which application this material is preferred that has been given then what are its corrosion properties if you are more concerned about that we can read this uh, that how it is corrosion resistant up to what extent it is corrosion resistance then very important factor is machinability that how I can machine that material so you could see the turning it has given that good turning machinability then what is the drilling it has good drilling machinability so you can drill holes and what is the heat treatment and at what temperature it should be given that is also mentioned then hot forming if you are going to do that option is given and other things are given like we have selected the two shapes like round and hexagonal so at in what finish they are available so whenever you uh, go in the market and buy some raw material the tolerance is also important so you could see if you want very precise then you can go for ground if you want uh, say less finishing you can go for other option then a surface treatment I also mentioned so on this selection the cost of the material is also dependent so you should be uh, aware of all these parameters that what you exactly uh, want so mm, on the top now you could uh, see here we have a uh, different uh, options like you can download the excel or also you can download the pdf so all the materials will get uh, all the material properties will get downloaded 
uh, in a single PDF. So here you could see it is getting downloaded and let's see how it looks. So this is it. Uh, all the things that we have seen it is showing in a combined form so you can keep it as a reference. So again one important factor is related standards. Now whenever you want some specific material uh, there are different standards like EN then DIN. So in these different standards this material might have a different configuration uh, means the code name code. So here you could see the equivalent material what we have selected and what are its equivalent materials like UNS and DI and standard or STM. So this is also very uh, useful because if you are dealing with some other standards then you don't have to search for the equivalent uh, material say you are directly getting here the equivalent uh, material also. So uh, this is about the related standards also and these options are available here right so this is very uh, useful thing uh, you don't have to go on to the net and search for the related uh, say options now let's see what else we have here uh, then we have we uh, visualize in s h b y also is available and uh, we can compare the materials also that is uh, one another advantage we have compare material tip what they have given you have to select two uh, different mat uh, two materials and then uh, the option will pop up so let's see how it works so uh, for example uh, now let's see some uh, two materials uh, here you can check out with many different materials so let's take uh, the uh, knr 720 and let's say uh, KNR 740 so you just have to tick now see the option is available compare materials so just click on the compare materials here now what it will show you should select at least one property on the basis of which it will show the comparison so let's select coefficient of friction now here you could see it is showing the graph the comparison of material uh, yeah, you can see the red is like KNR uh, for 720 and the green one is Kenya 740 so you can add the materials you can add uh, the different mechanical properties also and uh, it will show uh, the comparison between two, two materials so it is also very important if you have say two number of uh, materials and finally you want to select only one of them then this could be helpful and this can save your time so this option is also available uh, in a mat match and i think this is a great option so you can see here how many different options are available and how many different filters are available so that you can quickly easily select the materials and save your lot of time because the material property is the thing that is very important as far as design is concerned because even if you design very uh, properly but if you don't select the material properly it can uh, be a failure so that's why the uh, material property is very important and uh, here you could see uh, the comparison of uh, these two different uh, materials we are doing so this is how uh, this site works and it is totally free you just have to register yourself for free and you can get access to all of this data so you should use this as much as possible uh, because it is uh, very useful and very handy so this is it for this session and I hope you liked it and I hope you will use it more and more. So if you have any doubts, please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there. Until then, stay home, stay happy. Thank you.